and this is a reading for Sagittarius for the month of May 2019. So let's start at the beginning. This is the Eight. This is the Eight of Cups. Cups are about feelings, so it does look like you've had to walk away from a situation. can be a relationship, could be a job or moving, uh, but it does look like you had to suddenly uh, walk away from something that was dear to your heart, and it does look like it was unexpected and sudden. The Knight of Cups is what crosses you here. Now, this could be the person. Um, or this, uh, if it is a person, it is a water sign. That's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But for the most part, nights are about motion. And um, the Knight of Cups is usually messages of love or true love. So this kind of indicates that there was someone in your heart space that either betrayed you. Um, maybe you're going through a breakup. You got some information that was unpleasant some kind but it does look like you have some feelings involved with this and that it does require some motion on your part what is above you here is the four this is the four of pentacles and pentacles are usually about worldly things uh, can be about money this four usually is when you're kind of isolating and escaping or you kind of um, it can stand for depression so whatever the situation is may have made you really sad make sure and don't run away from responsibilities this is the card that kind of is the run and hide card so you may be feeling like just pulling those covers over your head for a minute or two um, which is fine to heal yourself just don't stay there that is not a productive place um, but it does look like you were hit pretty hard with some information information and you're kind of gathering your thoughts and gathering trying to figure out things um, on the on the past position is judgment so this may have been someone who was judging you or you're judging them um, but you know when we have an opinion about something that's a judgment so judgment card isn't necessarily bad but it does feel like you're having to um, revisit some things, maybe uh, make some changes to an upcoming plan of some kind, um, and uh, really uh, releasing some frustrations about a situation or a person. So it does look like that is already in the process and you're probably moving out of that. So you might have made some um, decisions already, Sag. Uh, the next one in the present position is the Two of Cups. This can be uh, the love cup, I mean the um, soulmate sign. Uh, Two of Cups usually has to do with the heart. This is about feelings. This can be about balance in a love position. Or it can mean that a uh, soulmate is coming to you. So it does feel like this has something to do with the heart. Uh, this can mean even just creating a new love for yourself, um, rekindling an old love, releasing um, a love. So many of you may be separating as well um, or um, in line for a new love relationship. But it is um, most definitely messages about love. So it may be positive or negative depending on what your situation is. But, but um, I think it is here, Sagittarius, to remind you to love yourself as well as all the stuff that's going on. The eight of swords is here and swords are about intellect and communication. It does feel like you're feeling uh, really trapped, that your words are not being taken taken uh, either well or being dismissed. It does feel like you are feeling trapped in a situation. This can be a job. This can be a relationship, a friendship. This can be family stuff. But it does feel like some agreements that you have made prior is, is um, making you feel a little trapped. So pull off that blindfold. Take a look at what's really going on and um, start healing yourself, Sagittarius. It does feel like you have spent a lot of time healing healing others and now it's really time to refocus on healing you and what you would like to do this lifetime not just um, what's convenient and comfortable for others so but it does feel like you are feeling a little trapped right now or um, it is in the future position so make sure that there's not no agreements that you're making now that will put you in a position of feeling helpless and trapped 
The basis of all this is the seven. This is the seven of pentacles. This is kind of the planting seeds to watch them grow. So it does look like this sudden change has kind of propelled you into making some choices and making um, things that, that um, uh, making some decisions that you weren't really prepared to do. So uh, it does look like now you're collecting information and this may be moving to a new city, new job, um, releasing a relationship, but it does look like you're making some new decisions and you're planting some new seeds, things that you thought maybe you would never do, but um, you have the opportunity to do so. Um, this also can stand for maybe a change in workspace. So you might be honored for work or making a unilateral move or even looking for a new job, but this is planting new seeds to watch them grow and it can um, mean pregnancy or um, as well mm, I'm not feeling that so strongly but it does feel like planting new seeds to watch them grow can be as simple as planting a garden or even applying for a new job so that is the basis of all this the king of swords is here and the king of swords you know swords are really about uh, completing things um, if it does stand for a person that will be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, who may have facilitated this change, for the most part, the King of Swords, he's a positive card, but he re requires great strength in the face of adversity. Um, it may require some mental work, some studying, and some uh, difficult communication um, about this situation. So um, don't be afraid. It will take some, some strength to uh, meet things head on and to communicate with love and kindness, but it looks like it's necessary, uh, making some agreements um, that work for both you and the other parties involved. The three is here right under the main card. Uh, this is also mind, body, and spirit balance. So it does look like you have been working pretty hard on uh, making some changes. And this one is basically like... Um, looking for some emotional support. This can be counseling. The high priestess is here, so it can be wandering back to church, um, meditating a little bit more for clarity, but really getting to the higher levels um, within you, not so much the base um, survival things, but the higher things higher level things. For many of you, you might have wandered back into church or started a meditation circle or just some kind of self-help book. It can be as easy as that, but it does look like you are now um, incorporating mind, body, and spirit and trying to find balance in all of the areas of your world. Uh, the culmination card that's here, this is a seven also, so it does feel like you are um, out of the middle of the process. You have a number of sevens here, you have three sevens that I see. Um, so it does look like you are headed out of the problem. You are into the resolution. And this card reminds us to really take a look at things as they truly are, not as you wish them to be, but as you as they truly are, kind of pull off the rose-colored glasses. It also can stand for, I, this seems like a very sudden change. So all the things that you were planning in the future, um, feels like they have changed. So you may want to redo the bucket list, open up uh, your awareness to broaden the scope of things that you want to do plant while you're planting those seeds. Um, so this is kind of the dream place, but it also can stand for not really looking at um, things as they truly are, looking at them as you wish them to be. So take a look at things honestly before you make those changes, Sagittarius. On the other side of this is the High Priestess, and this is the Exalted One. She really is um, incorporating, um, working from the inside to the outside instead of working from the outside to the inside. So really healing your heart, healing your mind, connecting with the God or Goddess of your heart, however that looks for you. Um, and for those that are walking in the atheist world, um, just doing more things to put your heart and your mind at ease, finding a, a release, 
um, for the stress. Uh, but this is really incorporating the spiritual part of you. And you have a number of spiritual cards here. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me if you wandered back into church or contacted a clairvoyant or started reading a self-help book, but really incorporating those daily prayers or the daily um, uh, mantras, um, just incorporating it more on the daily instead of just waiting one day a week to go to a building to pray. You know, uh, spirit lives inside of all of us. So it does look like an aha moment of really including um, spirit in your daily life. On the other side of this is the Page of Swords. Pages are really about messages. Swords are intellect and communication. Um, and this could be news of a problem or difficulty. Uh, this could be a problem relating to a young person in your life. Um, swords are air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So if there is a young person in your life that is making kind of silly decisions, they may need a little guidance from you. Um, and the page of swords really is about messages. And usually swords are kind of cutting and it can be news of difficulty or problems. So that is your general reading, Sagittarius, for the month of May. I'm going to throw a couple of these past life cards. Let's see, High Priestess or, or High Priest or Priestess. So this does look like incorporating some spirituality into your daily life would help cut that stress and also um, will alleviate some of the um, manifestations that happen in the body from stress. And the next one is baby. So new beginnings. It doesn't necessarily mean you'll have a baby be pregnant or a baby around you. It may, but for the most part, it does feel like things are starting over and you're in kind of a baby space where you get to grow into a new place of your choosing and of your desires. 